my name is Brendan Smith, B-R-E-N-D-O-N-S-M-I-T-H. This is the spelling of my name. I am a representative of Colorado Media School, and I'll be, I would love to inform you about the partnership that we are uh, creating with Generational Network. So from, from what I understand, you have signed a modeling con consulting agreement with Generation Network. For what inspires you to work with Generation Appeal? Wow, there's a lot of inspirations when it comes to generational appeal. Um, you know, Miss Jennifer is, uh, we have, we, from the jump, we had a great connection. Um, she's definitely an inspiration to us. Uh, she has helped pave the way in Colorado uh, when it comes to influencing women. And when it comes to the network, um, we are working to bring in more of a classier image and we're partnering, uh, with more of the younger generation just to show how, um, you know I mean? The influence of others who have helped pave the way. So, uh, we're working right now to just make connections, uh, within COVID-19 and create a, a powerful foundation um, to help her um, move forward and for us to move forward as well. Is it about Generation Apparel Network that you look forward to when you work with Jennifer and the community that you like? Um, wow. Uh, we just love the way that... Uh, Ms. Jennifer has done what she can to really just impact the community. She's in brand ambassador uh, for Easter Seals. She has worked uh, to create an outstanding legacy uh, to work with charities uh, throughout uh, Colorado. Uh, we look forward to help uplifting the community. Um, right now, we are partnering with a donor alliance uh, committee. And through that uh, committee, uh, we are creating a 2020 Vision Gift of Sight, helping uh, my mother as well uh, build a foundation to uh, better um, explain the depth of her testimony uh, when it comes to the Gift of Sight. And uh, we are putting that together with my testimony and just creating a powerful story that we hope will impact and save lives. What models do you look forward to working with that is a part of Generation Network and why? Uh, models that uh, work with Generation Network. Um, I had the privilege to actually do fashion shows with the wonderful and amazing uh, Heather Brooks. Heather Brooks, uh, is she engaged one of the first uh, reality dating shows in Colorado. And when it comes to uh, Heather Brooks, she's just amazing, man. She has took her struggle uh, as a child to help impact uh, children who may have uh, disabilities or uh, diagnosis. And I myself, uh, as a child, had a little difficulty and look forward to working with her to empower children. Uh, when it comes to entertainment and modeling, she has always had a great perspective. And Miss Heather Brooks has uh, also uh, signed a, a consultant contract as well with uh, the network. And we just look forward to really working with her and uh, doing uh, some great footage and uh, work as well through the network. Feel about being the first African American male spokes model that is part of her network. Um, it's just an honor. It's an honor to take that on because uh, Miss Miss she has showed a lot of compassion. She's just a wonderful woman. Uh, when it comes to uh, signing consultant um, deals, I'm highly confident in her ability to help me uh, network with other uh, top agencies uh, in Colorado when it comes to modeling. And um, I just look forward to um, doing all I can to um, help build her network up. And I know that she's going to help build me up too as well. What will be your role in building up her male influence for Generation Network? For um, we, uh, the Generational Network, Generational Appeal, uh, Miss Jennifer is just once again an outstanding woman. She has, uh, she really passionate about breaking out into a new stage when it comes to reaching growth. So uh, we've been, uh, I've been uh, pulled into position uh, male models to help represent her organization, but also when it comes to just connecting uh, with businesses, um, when it comes to connecting with clothing lines, we'll be sending our uh, model comp cards out. And I've created a model disciple uh, unit, a model disciple organization. Um, some would say a model disciple gang, but we are there to promote positive. Activity. Um, I have many different African Americans, uh, men throughout the community, and we seek to pr uh, promote diversity. Um, Miss Jennifer and our generational network just loves diversity. They love to connect with who, whatever culture they can. They want black, white, Mexican. They do not discriminate. And that's what I love so much about this network. And being a voice, the first African American male uh, for her network to build this organization with her is just an honor. And I look forward to speaking out throughout Colorado to help impact her organization and grow it as well.
What will be your role in building up her male influence of Generation Network? Just about that um, a, a bit uh, there with the last question, but you know my role uh, specifically, you know I, I'm coordinating. I'm coordinating young men um, throughout the Aurora Mall uh, when it comes to Unleash. Um, a few organizations when it comes to urban uh, design, we will be working with Unleash. We will be working with uh, Rave Smooth, and uh, we have a few other networks and uh, clothing lines that we will work uh, to help promote. Uh, we will be bringing male models out uh, to promote them um, at Raw Studios uh, with uh, photographer. Chuck, and also a studio as well, um, not too far away from uh, the Colorado Media School as well. Uh, when it comes to just um, promoting and connecting with young men, um, I must give a shout out to my team, uh, Derrie Bill, uh, Mel Model, um, Isaiah, uh, Mitchell, uh, just a great outstanding young man, very positive. Uh, I can't wait to work with the crew. Uh, we definitely have some young men uh, that's working with some cl clothing lines down there on leash. And uh, we were going to do everything we can to partner and cross promote uh, with the organization and grow this apparel network. Um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful women, outstanding women. Some of the most beautiful women in Colorado is through generational network. And we are just so happy to be able to uh, partner with them as uh, uh, male leaders in the community. And that's how I'm uh, that's what my, my role will be in the community and in her network. Are there any high profile projects you will be working on through Generation Network? Wow, I'm, I'm glad you asked that question. Uh, high profile, yes. Miss Jennifer, um, she, uh, she is, once again, just amazing. Um, she has uh, helped connect me in with uh, Miss Monica Brandt, uh, which is an uh, Olympian um, uh, extraordinary athlete that's known throughout the world, as well as Sarah um, Lyons, that is um, a nationwide known photographer. Um, she was nominated at one of the top uh, five or top ten uh, photographers in the nation. She has worked with uh, GQ magazine. She has worked with uh, many outstanding magazines. Matter of fact, I think probably one of the, probably most of the top magazines throughout the nation. So we look forward to working our way um, into some of these magazines. I uh, hope to get some of my male model crew within uh, the GQ magazine. And we just hope to take this to a new level um, when it comes to male models in Colorado and help, like, you know, really think out the box and, re and, and reach into states like New York and California. And um, I'm really inspired to uh, work with them. Um, uh, Miss Sarah Lyons, she works with a uh, picture group, uh, Epic Destination, which um, does has done work in Las Vegas. Uh, we plan on um, going back to Vegas uh, with the network. Uh, generational uh, network and um, doing some things out there in Vegas as well. Uh, I hope to actually con uh, to connect with some relatives out there in Las Vegas. Uh, we're really just moving forward and um, I'm just so happy. Uh, once again, when it comes to Picture Groove, um, Epic Destination, uh, Monica Brand and Sarah Lynn, um, they are nationwide uh, known photographers um, and, uh, and um, athletes and um, they are really respected uh, in the community um, and I just can't wait to work with them. I hope that my team is also encouraged to work with them as well. Tell us about your fitness photography goals with Herbalife. Oh, man, I, I can't leave out that uh, Miss Sarah Lyon, she is, um, is a celebrity fitness photographer as well. And um, when it comes to uh, fitness, man, I've lost some weight myself, but still looking good, trying to stay on top of it in COVID-19. But when it comes to fitness, uh, we work with Herbalife um, to show how, uh, you know, business stays relevant. It's the 40th year with Herbalife, and uh, I have a, ple uh, a few sponsors and contributors that will be helping me uh, launch that uh, through R10 Fitness. And when it comes to a male model boot camp and a boot camp for young, uh, young men, uh, we uh, seek to bring them in uh, through this fitness fitness and to inspire them as well uh, to a celebrity fitness photographer. So I can't forget that. Uh, thank you for reminding me on that. I hear you're producing two magazines. Can you elaborate on that? 
<laughs> yes, yes, yes. We're producing. Uh, we uh, COVID nineteen has definitely set us back. Uh, we had to postpone a lot of uh, things that we were doing. I am storyboarding a, a magazine, a male model, the first male model magazine, as the first African American male spokesmodel through Generational Network. Um, I hope to be uh, what we were working for is, um, and what we're hoping for is, I'll, I'll be in the Generation uh, uh, Generation Network magazine, um, the one of the first ones um, to come out. The first few, um, we have a lot of postpones because of COVID-19. But when it comes to uh, the second magazine, uh, Through Models of Colorado, I'll be working with uh, the well-known Frank um, LaBeouf um, through Distinguished Events and Models of Colorado to launch the first male model magazine. I hope to present my crew there as well, and I, I can't wait to do that. We know that you have a passion to use arts and fashion as a tool to help change the perspective of people with disabilities and mental health. How do you plan on using that through Generation Network? Big one. That's really touchy to my heart. Um, wow. My why. Why I do what I do, it, it runs deep. When it comes to um, mental health, when it comes to the health of the community, um, right now we are in a scary time and uh, Generation Network wants to do what they can to not only help impact um, and uplift uh, senior citizens um, and those who are younger in this health pa pandemic, but we also want to shine light on how um, arts and fashion can help change the perspective of uh, people with mental health issues, uh, people with uh, disabilities. Uh, when it comes to the ADAPT uh, organization that um, is ADAPT clothing line, um, we have a few um, people that are, will be promoting our organization that will uh, reach out to ADAPT uh, to help change the perspective to fashion um, when it comes to people with disability. But uh, Miss Jennifer, uh, the mo my model consultant who's worked hard with me to uplift and to aspire, she is one of the best in the state that when it comes to disabilities, uh, hidden disabilities, uh, she has an awesome testimony uh, that I believe that was inspired by God himself uh, and touched her life where she recovered um, and she dealt with a few things herself and um when it comes to God's healing, when it comes to his love impacting us, um, God has touched my life in uh, many different ways. And, um, you know, as a young child, uh, you know, uh, doctors would say that, you know, I had a little ADD or a little, you know, my mind was a little all over the place, to be honest with you. But we can't overcome. And when it comes to inspiring kids that may deal with uh, certain disabilities, um, when it comes to fashion and arts, that is one of the main things that touched my heart. Um uh, model consultant uh, Jennifer the Generation Network uh, my colleague and team member uh, she has done an out amazing job uh, amazing amazing job in uh, connecting with Donor Alliance um, there's a beautiful model uh, from India that she helped um, uh, really sponsor and um, she's going to help sponsor my mother as well and our story uh, the 2020 perspective um, and we are going to do all we can to save lives uh, uh, through Donor Alliance and Uplift through the 2020 perspective. Uh, donor, uh, the uh, committee that we are launching um, is called uh, the Donor Alliance, or this is called the uh, Donation Donor Donation 10, uh, which symbolizes uh, our uh, our connection with uh, the Donor Alliance and our connection with the arts and how we seek to breathe things together.